Daisy Geyser is located in the upper geyser basin of Yellowstone National Park. While this is one of the most predictable geysers in the park, it erupted a couple minutes earlier than expected. A typical daisy geyser eruption lasts about three to five minutes, and this was no exception. This three minute 17 second video is a recording of almost the entire event. So you can see for yourself. The Daisy Geyser erupts every 110 to 240 minutes and is one of the most predictable geysers in Yellowstone National Park. Right next to the Daisy Geyser are Splendid Geyser, Brilliant Pool and Comet Geyser. The eruption of the Splendid Geyser can sometimes affect the eruption intervals for daisy geysers, although for a short time. To a smaller degree, the brilliant pool and common pool or comet geyser are influenced by splendid geyser and daisy. Earth's ge geology can be quite a mystery. Back in 2002, when the Nali earthquake happened in Alaska, it somehow altered the Daisy Geyser's eruption interval as well, which is kind of odd. Uh, this caused the interval to rapidly decrease, uh, but then it returned to its normal course in a few weeks. One of the unique features of the Daisy Geyser is its slanted spray which is kind of unusual in Yellowstone National Park but like other geysers around here it spews a lot of water and fills up this stream uh, that adds itself to a river it's pretty impressive how clear the spring is also uh, the water that comes from under the ground is very hot but as soon as it reaches the surface, it becomes cool and actually quite pleasant. The geyser just stops as quickly as it started. And if a visitor were to come at one of these times, it just seems like some uh, steam vents in the ground. Um, nothing really spectacular, but it's pretty impressive how it can quickly change um, how it looks with this big massive spray and then quiet down as if nothing really happened.